Welcome back to more Alan Wake. We are stuck here. There were here. only empty sheets of paper here. No manuscript pages. I don't know if this is another dream or what, because apparently I'm clinically insane now. I don't know where. Oh, I'm in the, the, the lodge place that's like... Good evening, like, Alan. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? I'm here. Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message, loud and clear. Quite right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. Hmm. Everything I might have forgotten. I don't trust this guy whatsoever. This is the guy that my wife brought me to to the town to see in the first place. So he can work on me because of my writer's block. Yeah, I don't trust him. And who is this guy? Wake. Create yeah, this is the book. Creator's Dilemma. The engaging new book by Emile Hartman, the author of the best-selling Creative Flow, his groundbreaking techniques, engagement therapy, and the flow, explained in his own words. Emerson. Who's Emerson? Why does that name sound so familiar? Hey, Night Springs. Oh, they have a video game too. Oh, look, by Remedy. Death Rally. That looks like a game that I would not really be into. Is that supposed to be like a video game console? Ugh. Looks like an old school VCR or something. Night Springs. I want to see another episode. I think those are really cool. At least it's daytime outside. Oh, what's this? Is that a map? Hmm. Interesting. Uh, what is this? I have no idea what I'm looking at here. Oh, there's me with the flashlight and a Taken. Uh, I don't know what the one next to it is. Dark. Hmm. I don't know. Very ominous. This corridor is for patients. Most Lane. of them aren't here right now. Jack the took them out for a fishing trip. Except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. Mm, treating how, sir? Yeah. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control I if bet we you work do. together. This way, Alan. Locked in here like a dog. Anderson. Wait, did one of those say... No. It was Lane, not Zane. I was thinking Thomas Zane from the... From the pages. The other writer dude, but no, it says Lane. Oh, hello bear. Uh, that's not creepy at all. What the hell? Yeah, I would not want that artwork hung up in my my place of care. It's not very comforting. Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very no. vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. What kind of reaction was that? Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Don't your mind it. has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. Mm, that's it, huh? 
That's your diagnosis. Don't believe it for a second. Dr. Hartman, let's check out your office. Never mind. Can't leave. Where are you taking me, sir? Outside? We go this way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying. But under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. Hmm. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Lies. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. No. I think this whole town is like the furthest thing from logic. What the heck is this? Some kind of a uh, sundial or something? I don't know. 1912. Man, it's so bright out here. There's no... Yeah, the island's gone. Still. Ah, I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. Hmm. It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. No matter. This place is huge. It would actually be kind of nice to stay there. What I'm telling you is good news. Right now we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? Because you're lying. It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. After all, Hartman I'm obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly inside my head. But I, can't I dug my nails into the palms myself. of my hands to stay focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. <laughs> Alan Wake's like, Come along. shut up. Let's go inside. What the? Come on, go. Here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. Okay, stay away. Great outdoors. Man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. <laughs> this guy has like the longest yeah, neck right. I've ever seen. You. I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Boo. <laughs> That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on video games. It's trash, of course. But it does involve some small creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. No kidding. Oh my god. This is an insane asylum. <laughs> wow. Oh, hey. Free coffee. I think I already read this. 
Yeah. Can I go upstairs? Patient rooms. Where's this where I came from? Oh, what's this generator up here? Hartman had mentioned that the power had been acting up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. The generator hadn't been activated, and there was no key. Hmm. Oh, coffee. Another QR code. Okay, I'm actually, I'm kind of curious. I'm going to scan this and see what it leads to. Okay, yeah, that led to another video of, like a live action video. Alan Wake writing. Hmm. Although I don't, um, I can't figure out what they mean though. See, being in a place like this in real life would be so oh, relaxing, hello. I feel like. I've painted you. You have? Okay. I was just struck by inspiration a couple of days ago. Oh, wow. Dr. Hartman wanted me to paint landscapes, and that's what I was doing. But now I've been doing these things, a lot of them. The images just keep coming. Dr. Hartman likes them. He has them in his office. Yeah? He's very proud of me. He says I'm getting much better. Mm. I think I'm getting better. That looks nothing like me. That looks like some kind of psycho. Well, I guess I'd better start wrapping this up. The storm is almost here. Look at that. I'd hate to be out there tonight. What is this black stuff? That's the darkness coming. Oh, that's freaky. I heard like some kind of toy. Squeaky toy. Oh, what the heck? What did I miss? Oh, there's the two dudes. Oh, he's playing with the little squeaky hammer. Oh, Night Springs has like a board game too. Ma'am, you need to be put back in your room. Who is this dude? Now, you might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. Uh -huh. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. Oh, uh, let's see. Welcome to the lodge. We are here to give you the specialized help you need. However, please observe the following. Ask friends and family to schedule visits beforehand to ensure you don't interfere with your therapy and or periods of creativity. Please respect your fellow patients' need for privacy and personal space, especially when they're engaged by their creative processes. Typically, our patients have long-term creative problems and they won't be solved overnight. Give yourself permission to take the time you need. Bear in mind that you're voluntarily receiving treatment that is specifically, specifically tailored for you. Engagement therapy and its sister method, the flow, work best when you are actively engaged in shaping them. If you have any concerns, please don't hesitate to voice them. Hmm, the engagement method and the flow. My rheumatism is killing me. There's a storm coming. Oh, what a storm. I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. And these two are the Anderson brothers, Odin and Tor. They had a, how should I put this? A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They are well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. Mm, that sucks. No, oh, that won't do. I'm so sorry to cut this short for now, Alan. The power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? Wait. I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. 
He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah! Being ah. crazy's a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. <laughs> That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Zane, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? Tom is He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson farm. Valhalla. We wrote it all down, lest we to forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash. But I kept it safe from these bastards. My head was clearing up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Mm, I don't know. They're being very a ominous as well. Dream, and you can't wake up. You can't hurt a nightmare because all dreams are only imagination. They're only in your head, and they're not there when you wake up. So you can't wake up because I'm in charge now, and I don't want to disappear. My nightmare is the publisher people who want to make a contribution so they can say they made a contribution. And then we end up with mullets in there because they think mullets are funny. But are you it wasn't talking supposed to? to be about mullets, and now it's about mullets. And when it's in slow motion, they call it mullet time <laughs> because the numbers can back from marketing that mullet time is the hook we needed to go big in the bullet target time. demographic and they're not even kidding they say it all like serial killers with straight faces and smiles my nightmare is the writers who want to make everything from the characters to the toaster talk 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 all the time and express their feelings so they won't shut up and the writers won't shut up either because they have feelings too and i have to listen to them because they're not scared of me and everyone should just shut up shut up shut up but i don't see nightmares Bears anymore because I'm too scared. This guy's ranting. Them. I take two pills every morning and one with every meal and four when I go to bed. And that makes me the scariest nightmare of all. Okay, sir. You need to go back to your room. This guy's neck is killing me. It's like he looks like an ostrich. His neck is so oddly shaped. It's so long. Okay, let's go back to our room. Hey, Wake, why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? Typewriter's in your room. You can get to your room by those stairs, Wake. I just have free reign, I guess. Of this place. Something's wrong. Oh. I'm not myself. It's hard to think that there's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin have been for days but it's always dark outside my editor is real i saw her again she's not human it's not human a dark presence is wearing the old woman's face she was covered in clinging shadows there's a hole in her chest where her heart should be i think i've made a horrible mistake i don't think i'm any closer to saving alice it's been lying to me using me to get the story it wants and the story will come true Dude, what is going on? Oh, Alan's got crazy eyes in those videos. Where's my room? Over here. Alright, what do they want me to write? The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, Wake, you stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? Be cool. I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Where the hell did he get a damn hand? I don't know. Here's a friendly poke from the old near. 
Oh, uh, afraid of the activate this now? Brothers, are you? Not no. So weak now, are we? Is this a page? Yes. Well, things are unraveling. Barry and all oh, of two of them. Thomas Zane's writing and assistant. Zane could feel the poems taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him. But there was fear, too. If not for his young assistant, Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He, too, had a way with words. So he's writing about Zane. Emil is the doctor, Emil Hartman. And that's his assistant? Okay. Fast, aren't they? <laughs> Barry in the lodge. Hartman kept talking, giving Barry the grand tour, clearly proud of the place. He went on and on about his hunting trophies, and Barry was impressed. But he was here on business. He raised his voice, cut through the monologue. Hey, Hartman, where's Al? Hartman stopped in mid-sentence, annoyed at the interruption. He nodded at the hulking orderly standing nearby. The man smiled and clapped a practiced hand on Barry's shoulder. Hmm. Investigate the racket. It's my store. I'm taking it. This Sinclair looked bad. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy old fart hit her hard. <laughs> if she was one of Hartman's goons, she Tom had it coming. I could get the destiny. key to the office wing from Sinclair. I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken all my Come manuscript pages. That's where he'd be keeping it's them. Time to pay the piper. What did they do to her? Maybe you could come out and beat our wrinkled adult diapered asses for it, since you're so tough, Birch. Did they hit her with a hammer? I don't think so. There's we no blood. We were on the road, man. You think we haven't seen punks like you before? Mortal <laughs> knave. <laughs> Mortal knave. All right, where was Hartman's office? I think that was yeah, you better hide, Birch. over here. The photo on the wall caught my attention. In it, the clinic staff was standing outside the lodge. I knew the man next to Hartman. He was the kidnapper. Hartman had been playing me all along. Yeah, he does look familiar. He was a kidnapper that turned out to not be the kidnapper. He was just being used by the dark presence, I think. What are these? There's the darkness. The markings on the tape said they were recordings Hartman had made at the sessions with his patients. Oh. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't breathe right. That guy's creepy. Looks like, kind of looks like Freddy Krueger to me. Uh, let's see. Mott fails Hartman. Hartman wasn't happy. Mott could see it in his eyes. He quickly lowered his own. He had made a mess of it, and he knew it. The shame of failure was hard to bear. He hadn't expected Wake to say he needed more time. And he blurted out two days, less than Wake had asked for to show him who was in charge. But that wasn't part of Hartman's plan. Now, Mrs. Wake, can you tell me about Alan's problems? <sighs> Do you mean with you? No, not with me. No, never. I... Sometimes I almost wish Alan would take a swing at me, because at least that'd lead to a conversation he couldn't just march out of. But no. He just... Alan doesn't really sleep. And the work, well, he's not writing. At all. He sits there for hours and just gets more and more frustrated. I can't talk to him. Yes. Tell me, Mrs. Wake. What would you say to him if he'd listen? <sighs> I don't know. I want to say, I look at you, and it's not you. Just some stranger who resembles you. Looking out from behind your eyes. And I don't like that guy much. And now it's all gonna go to hell. But you don't ever say this. No. No. I've tried, but he's not listening.
Well, if you can just get him here, I'll absolutely do my very best. Yeah, but Doctor, you need to be careful with him. He's not just going to listen to you and cooperate. He's the most stubborn man I've ever met. Well, I'll be sure to bear that in mind. Hearing her voice, what she was saying made me happy and sick and guilty all at once. Worst of all, I recognized the words. The phone call from her. It had been a cut-up of this. Just a recording. Wait, what? Been... Wait, what phone call from her? I'm, I'm forgetting that. It had been a cut-up from that. Just a recording. Let me out of here! Hartman, do you hear me? I'm gonna sue your crazy quack ass to shreds! <laughs> Who is that? Barry. Barry? Oh, Barry. Ow! About time! Barry. What ben, the heck? I'm glad to see you. Why are you hiding behind we my... We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no! The cops found me at Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. I'm obviously a victim in this, and I demanded to be treated as such. Or else I'd sue their asses. Speaking of asses, that fed gave me a real hard time. But I had no clue where you were. That guy's crazy, Al. But he let me go, and then I get a call from Hartman, that son of a bitch, who tells me you're here, and I should come pick you up. But when I got here, two goons clobbered me and stuck me in there. What's... what's hmm. with the cutout? I stole it from the diner to piss off Rose after what she did to us. <laughs> That'll teach her. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's a harsh punishment. Come on, pal. We got to get going. Actually, she'd probably be really upset about that. She's, like, obsessed with me. Who are the two goons These that hit Barry? all the pages I had on me. And more. Alan, please. You're sliding back into the... Tell me one more lie, and I'll shoot you in the face. Ah, well was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea. Hartman, shut up. Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just- Go! Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together, we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. Dr. Hartman. Oh my god, okay. The dark presence will be on me in a moment. I had to find a way out. Whoa, that's oh, okay. Whoa. Oh wow, okay, let's get out of here. Oh my god. Open up! Alan, open up! Oh shoot. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, I have to hold the button. Oh my god. Uh, hurry up, hurry up. Oh god. I don't have a flashlight. Uh, this way? Nope. Nope. Oh my god. Uh, this way. Oh, maybe not. I needed light to get the possessed bookshelves out of the way. I need a flashlight. Um. Oh my God, it's upstairs. Oh, maybe we can put that generator on now. Oh, the bear. It's floating. So Hartman like wanted me to write, so he can. I don't know what his goal is, but I feel like he's also possessed. Whoops. Oh, come on.
Oh shoot. Oh. Go, go, go. Alan, come on. Oh my god, one more hit and I'm dead. Oh. No! No! <laughs> Wait, checkpoint reached. Nice. Oh, that was good timing. Where? Open up. Oh my god, get me out of here. Um, let me use my flare. Uh, sure. Oh, that didn't work. I just wasted my flare. Um, let's go back. Oh, another flare. Okay. Can I use it on the bears? Yep. Oh my god, that's all I had to do. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, page, page, page. Hartman's mission. Hartman knew he was no creator. He had no ambitions on that front. And he certainly didn't want to end up like every artist he had worked with here. Damaged in ways that were hard to describe, or worse. It was enough for Hartman to maintain creative control and provide direction. To be a producer. That was what most of these people were in need of anyway. Of course, suitable subjects were few and far in between. Yeah, Hartman just wanted to use me to... I don't know, write something worth... Ah! Being written? I don't know. God, where do I go? Where do I go? Mm. Uh, um, nope, not that way. Oh, okay. Run for it. Oh, come on. Oof. Barry, you have impeccable timing. Yeah, keep that light car, shining on me. The gate's locked. You're gonna have to go through the hedge maze oh over there. Oh God, hedge maze! Barry, I don't have a light. Give Take my this, yeah, Al. give me your light. Oh God! Look at the house, ah. Al. not to use batteries here. Come on. Come at me. Ooh. All right, one down, two down. Move away, move away. Almost. All right. Come on, Al. We gotta go. Suspended. Lauren Miller, nice to meet you. I made it through easy. All right. Hold up, Barry. Let me see if there's any items around here. There could be flare guns, batteries, or coffee, or nothing. Okay, proceed through the garden. Come on, Alan. You'd think you'd, you'd have built up your endurance by now. Oh, here we go. Batteries. Oh, jeez, Al! The house looks bad! Let's get out of here! Okay, okay. Where? I have okay eight bullets and two flares that is not enough all right through the maze we go 
Man, I do not like mazes. In games or in... Oh, hurry up. I can hear those evil guys moving around. Ooh, revolver ammo. Nice. God, I just... Yep. I'm like, I'm just waiting for them to jump out at me. Oh. I knew you'd be behind me. Don't trust Emil. <laughs> yeah. I could have told you that like 20 minutes ago. Oh, Paige. Oh my god. Hartman watches Wake fall. Hartman followed the fall of Alan Wake with his binoculars. When the rider hit the water, he ordered Jack to take the boat to him. The spot was easy to see in the dark, even with all the extra lights in the boat. The flare floated and kept burning even in the water. Jack turned the radio louder as the engine sputtered. The music was rough and clanking, something the Anderson brothers would no doubt have enjoyed. But Hartman chose to ignore it. Wake was finally within his reach. When the rider hit the water, is that like... When I jumped into the water in the beginning after Alice? Or is that something else? Wake sees the old god stage. I stared at the Viking paraphernalia that littered the area, surrounding an unlikely centerpiece. A full-side stage complete with an impressive sound system with all the trimmings, including a dragon. It took a special kind of crazy to build something like this in a remote field. When the sky split open with a deafening boom and the music started blasting, it felt strangely appropriate. Okay. How can you see them, Barry? I am. Um, I'm so lost. I have no. I have really bad sense of direction. Oh, God. I do not like this at all. Oh, my God. Oh, big one. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. God, oh god, oh god. Oh. Okay, I need to get out of here. Ooh. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, go, go. Shoot. Ah! God. Ooh. That was stressful as hell. I can still see his shadow. Oh my god, okay, I didn't do too so bad there. I don't think I got hit. Hitman or Hartman and the power failure. Hartman hurried down the corridor. He had disliked leaving Wake when he was surely at his most susceptible to therapy. But this was not an ordinary storm. Wake had been riding, and he had woken something up in the depths of the lake. Now, it was coming for him. Hartman had naturally prepared for a situation like this. The idiot brothers would keep Wake distracted while Hartman double-checked everything, just to be sure. Hmm. Okay. Who's that? Oh, light. Oof, light is like such a relief in this game. Is the maze over? That's that dude. 
Okay, is he like a boss? Oh, ravens. Oh, he's got a lot of life. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm gonna murder this dude. I'm not gonna let him. I'm not gonna run away from him. Oh my god, can you stun? Get stunned, please! Shoot! <laughs> okay, that did not go well. Let's try this again. Maybe I'll use a flare to kill the ravens at least. The ravens are such a nuisance. Ravens too. Oh my god. Wasn't oh. ready for that. Come on, Ravens. Oh crap. I have a lot of batteries. There. Nice. Oh, freaking ravens, man. Ugh. Oh, that was close. Oh my god, those damn birds. Oh my god, I'm out of ammo? What? Oh no! No! Oh my god, I'm dead. Oh, I don't know if I'm supposed to kill him. Um... I don't... Have enough ammo, I guess? To kill him? 26 is not enough? No, that can't be right. That should be enough. Let's try this one more time. If I can't kill him, I'm going to try to keep running. Yeah, if I can. Oh, there's supplies there. I didn't even notice. All right. I'm going to use up uh, some batteries here. Okay, you know what? I'm getting rid of these ravens first. You stay back. Those ravens. Oh man, sometimes he does not get stunned. Alright, here we go. I think the birds are dead. I'm gonna just burn you down. Alright, here we go. Let's go, come on. more like it. Oh man, that was tense. Their gun. Yes, give me everything. All right. Oof, where's bow? Those little guys are like so easy to kill now. Who's next? Come at me. Man. 
More bullets, please. Can I please get more bullets? A light. Ooh. Very nice. Alright, six shotguns. Or rifle. Yo, this garden is huge. Oh! Oh my god. Oh, what the? Oh, that little sucker was hiding in the bushes. Calm down. Okay. Oh, what the? Oh, the door. Page. Oof. Barry attacked by Taken. For the moment, Barry was just glad he had survived the fall. He had been separated from Al, and there was no easy way to climb back up. He told himself he'd be okay, okay in the gloomy forest at night. He would just have to wait for a while for Al to find his way down. Barry turned when he heard the heavy footsteps and saw the movement. The man-shaped shadow lunged at him from the bushes, an axe held high. Barry screamed and threw up his hand. The world exploded. It's a bit dramatic. Mott in charge. Mott knew that Wake was smarter than him. Wake had more money, a beautiful wife, everything. And Hartman said Wake was important. That made him better than Mott. But Mott was calling the shots now. He'd expected Wake to whimper and grovel, but instead, he seemed willing to fight. Mott knew he'd gotten under Wake's skin, if only Mott actually had his wife. The thought made him shiver. Huh. He didn't even have my wife ever. I mean, if Hartman's story is true, my wife is dead already, but... Yeah, like I said, I don't know if I believe him. Where did Barry go? I hear so many ravens. Oh! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Three of them. See, when it's the weaklings, they're, it's not so bad. What is this? Is that an arrow pointing down? Oh, over here. Nice. I need to remember that I have a flare gun. I'll probably forget to use it and then it'll be the next chapter and then I'm not going to have it anymore because they always take away your weapons between chapters. Wait, where do I go? Do I come from this way? I think I came from that direction, so... Yeah. Damn, you're giving me a lot. Uh... Is that because I'm going to need it all this soon? Probably. Oh, there's somebody up there. Is that Barry? Hartman sedates Wake. Hartman watched as Wake's features slackened. The man was bullheaded, no doubt. Even lying on the bed, he'd almost broken Hartman's nose the second time. But with a little time, he could break Wake down, give him proper direction. Wake was easily the most promising subject he had had. Well, since Tom, really. Sleep well, Alan, Hartman whispered with a smile. Let me take care of you. 
He sniffed hard to clear his throbbing nose, swallowed blood, and barely tasted it. Hmm. Hmm. That is Barry. Ow! You're alive! Let's get out of here. Can you open this gate? Maybe. Barry. Uh, well, I slammed it shut when the nasty showed up, and the key fits kind of loose in the lock, so, uh... Oh, God. Oh, here we go. Oh, I hope there's not ravens. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Hurry up, Barry. I'm on it. I'm on it. Oh, where'd you come from? Oh, I thought I dodged that. A little too close for comfort. Let's all back. Okay, you know what? Hold up. Yeah, I should have done that to begin with. Let me get my flare gun out. Actually. I need this to be a well-placed shot. Gates open. Okay, that wasn't so bad, I guess. Al, please tell me the we're headed for the nearest. Out. You're now leaving Bright Falls. Come back soon, sign. We're going to the Anderson farm. I knew you were going to say something like that. <laughs> you know what? You owe me big time for this. When this is through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're going to buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm going to live in it. Oh, my God. Yeah, darkness has totally taken over the lodge. Hmm. That chapter was crazy. I'm crazy, but that's fine, Mary. <laughs> oh, you got that right, Al. You're barking mad. You are by far the craziest. But maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Al, mm. how can you know that? I know, Barry. I can... Al, I... No, listen. I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. Look out! The Andersons are the twins? Sorry, not the twins, but the brothers? There are so many car accidents in this game. Ow! 
Alan should just never get in a car ever again. 